Hello everyone, I am Anjan and welcome to the 21st video tutorial of the Verilog OS series. In this video, you will be getting to know how a T flip flop works and how to design a Verilog code for it. For a better understanding, I split the video into three parts that is, pre coding part, coding part, and the post coding part. Let's move on to the pre coding part. In the pre coding part, you will be seeing the circuit diagram and the truth table of that uh, toggle flip flop. Mm, coming to the truth table, you will be observing that you can observe that if the t input is zero the output will be the present the present output will be the past output that is if the past output is zero then the present output will be zero and the past output is one then, then the present output will be one whereas in the if the t is equal t input is one the present output will be the inversion of the first the past output that is if the past output is zero it will be inverted to one and the uh, past output is one then the present output will be inverted to 0. Coming to the circuit diagram, I will be using this circuit diagram and I will also be using this circuit diagram in designing of my Verilog code. In this circuit diagram, I will I, ha I am having D flip flop. So I am in, I, I will be instantiating the D flip flop which I already uh, explained to you in my past videos. If you don't watch it, do check out it in the Starsketch YouTube channel playlist. And here, if the if the t input is given, t and the output, uh, the uh, pass output is given to the XOR gate, and those input those value will be driven to D flip flop as an input. So the outputs will be get as an t output, t flip flop outputs. This is a circuit diagram of the t flip flop. Let us move on to the coding part. This is the d flip flop code which I already mentioned, explained. Th this is the uh, T flip flop code, very log code. And here is the module name that is T underscore flip flop. And here are my port list, T clock reset are my inputs and Q is the output. And I also declared a wire W, which is, you can see here. This is the wire W. And uh, assign, I am using assign statement here w equal to t xr q. And here you can see d flip flop d flip flop 0. Actually, it is a single line, but uh, here I got by pasting here it, it is turned into like this. Here I, I am giving the input as w for the d flip flop, and uh, rest are the same like clock, reset, and q are my out q is my output. And here is the end here I enter the module. Now let's move on to the post coding part that is on the tool. Here is my clock of the JK flip flop. JK. Okay, okay. I'll be showing you. Actually I simulated it for T flip flop and I didn't I, I kept here. And here is the code for T flip flop. And here I pre simulated it. Well, now I will be giving the values like t equal to 0 and clock equal to force clock binary. I will set it to binary reading edge value 1, trading edge value 0. I will set it for 10 nanoseconds because I am using here 10 nanoseconds as time period. I will be giving reset as 1 so that I will be giving, getting the output as 0 irrespective of any input values. Let's run it for 10 nanoseconds. Here I got it q equal to 0. Let's check now if t equal to 0 means the output will remain same. Then if and now I will set reset equal to 0 so that my t flip top will work. Here I got it, t equal to 0. Now I will check t equal to 1. So the output will become um, let's check one set. If t equal to 1, the past output will invert. Okay. So I am here now my past output is 0 so it will come 1 as my present output. Here I 
Here I got t equal to 1. Now you understood. I I can also check for t equal to 0. So that my present past output will be the same as the present output. Here I got t equal to 1. Here are my uh, inputs and outputs gathered here. Now let's see the schematic part. Here is the schematic part. Just, it is just similar to the which uh, circuit diagram which I shown earlier. XR gate connected to the deep flop as an input. And here is my output Q which is uh, feed packet to XR gate. Here is my T clock reset as my inputs clock is the synchronous input and and if you are if you are uh, interested to do more quiz questions on Verilog you can check the description box below to have the quiz questions on Verilog you can explore them and if you like the video hit the thumbs up button below and share to your friends and subscribe to the Startscratch YouTube channel thank you